All right, folks, the deck is Clown Druid. The goal of the deck is to use Primordial Protector to draw Survival of the Fittest, which will corrupt not only our Carnival Clowns, but also our Strongmen, which can come back from Yashara the Defiler. If we get into trouble, we have double Yog saron which we can um, use for a little bit of chaos. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Watch this! Uh, I'm going to keep the Primo Protector. It loses to Murlocs, but is pretty strong into uh, slower Shaman decks, which I've been seeing a lot more of lately. Oh, wow, this is a hand. Oxmox, thank you for the two months. All right, opponent full capped after all that. Or they just aren't here. Nope, they're here. All right. I think it's a slower Druid deck. Oh, my God. Like, this hand is actually just the nuts, even though we drew the Vargoth. Like, this is a situation where I can just Ferocious Howl into Coin Overgrowth, Oaken Summons. Why isn't Spreading Cart Plague an Epic card, I wonder? Um, I mean, there's no association between the strength of cards and their rarity. Like, what difference would it make being a uh, an Epic versus a rare? Got a lot of ramp, um, but I don't really have an answer to that uh, frog, so please don't die. I, I have a kill on it next turn when I go um, Oaken into Spellstone, at least. Problem is, is it starts to get value early. It could be Shudder. It could also just be like a Mally. Yeah, it's Shudder. Okay. That doesn't draw a single card, which is good for me. I drew the, uh, the Marauder, didn't I? Like, I still just needed the Oaken to kill that. I can't leave the, uh, the frog on the board. I see. No, Overgrowth. Playing the Overgrowth would leave the frog on the board. Like, I already made it one additional turn. Or, like, it, it was already on the board one turn too long. And also, I thought I was getting a five ton off of that. What a frustrating series of uh, turns this has been. I thought one mana spell worked like corrupt. Huh? Alright. Possible I just get smacked down this coming turn, but um, do I actually have to play the plague now? Wow, that got stuck in my. I could go here into here into here. It's probably the responsible play. The Primo Protector is the more fun play, but like it'll be there after I get the uh, survival down as well. Like, I really need to take that uh, Saiyamod off the board. So I think I just have to play this. Well, that's a good time to draw the clown, at least. Standard deck? Yeah. Yeah, I'm notorious for playing standard cards in wild. I think they're going to want that uh, Zephyrus back. We do be dominating, though. 
If I see you on the street, would you accept taking a photo with me? Uh, it depends on the context, but yeah, probably. But also, I don't go outside much, so it seems unlikely to happen. Oh, no! Uh, it happened. Oh god, what a bad draw, too. Alright. Is my board full? Or am I dead? Oh god. Oh, okay. Whew. Good jog. Nice order. Here. Honestly, that was a very good jog, wasn't it? I'm not even overloaded, so... Uh, probably need to kill that. What is my secret? Don't tell him, chat. Okay. Pretty good Yogg. Are you just gonna hex a Yogg like that? Chat, do I give them random legendaries here? They've been kind of rude to me, like hexing my Yogg like that. They might get Benny. Yeah, but that would be fun. There's a chance to give him Yogg? True. I need to save this to... I have another set of clowns. Let's see what we get off the top first. Alright, no value for them. I refuse. Yeah, we're just kind of limping across here. I really need a good draw off the top. The Yogg didn't draw me cards, and it also, like, prevented me from drawing cards off of the Primordial Protector, too. Like, I don't think a single survival gets me across the finish line, even if I just rip it there, because I need more than that, yeah. This'll do. Good time to draw that. We don't get Strongman off of Yashira? Uh, probably not, no, because he got boom shipped into play. No Mitanis, please. Uh, they would have hit it off of the ice fishing, so... The opponent is uh, not running me tennis. And they've already played a dirty rat in what is uh, very clearly a Reno Shaman. Take two! Ha <laughs> ha! So strong. So powerful. Well, unfortunately, I think I accidentally hit Legend. Like, even if the leftmost card is uh, I get the scheme, I don't think it's been in hand long enough to actually uh, activate or to, like, clear this board. I don't think that's going to solve the problem. Maybe it'll be a fun mage. I've heard those exist. I desperately need it to be a fun mage so that I can uh, survive for this Primo Protector. Oh god. Oh, this is... <laughs> I'm just gonna die, aren't I? Secret or APM? That's all mage decks now. I mean, that's most mage decks, but not all. It appears this is one of those two, though. An incredible yep. It's not terrible. I just, like, Counterspell is going to be brutal. 
If I can make it to turn six, though, with the overgrowth, I'm in business. I just need to dodge a counter spell. I need it to either come down now or never. I'll show them. Okay. I'll show them Don't mind taking the armor here. Maybe I'll hit a nature studies and that'll help me tusk for the counter spell with the overgrowth. I think that would be ideal. Also got backup overgrowth. Maybe we're just okay here. I got a Yogg. Don't you dare counterspell me. Like, if they have the counterspell, they play it though, right? Because turn four against Druid, you there's a lot of power plays going on there. Because of Oaken Summons, Overgrowth, which we have, and um, like even Branching Paths. So, probably counterspell. But it's not counterspell. That's very, very good for me. Excuse me, you are on fire. It's also pretty good for me because uh, now I get a decent spreading plague. Like I had nothing better to do here other than another overgrowth, which isn't really all that helpful. Uh, other than getting me to the AUG sooner, but like, I need to not die, you know? So, Spreading Plague helps me not die. Next turn is just going to be disgusting. Relatively slow start from the mage, yeah, which is uh, to my advantage. Either that's a Flame Ward or they have a Flak Mage. Or that could be a Flame Ward. Or are they just like making weird trades to confuse me? Secret Mage so boring deck. Um, I mean, some people like winning though. For some people, winning is fun. That allows me to uh, break the Flame Ward, but more importantly, test for um, Flame Ward. Or test for a uh, fair game. I already tested for the flame ward because it propped. Oh! Oh god, that's so bad! Rip. Don't you have space to put that four mana card that destroys secrets? No. Rabbit is the best. Rabbit would have been significantly, significantly better than Feoris there. Also, uh, there is no deck that I can think of that has ever wanted to run um, Eater of Secrets. Other than maybe Tech Shaman, but that's not like a real deck. Um, let's get this counterspelled because I want to pull cards. From my deck, because I have Vargoth and the Taunt Boy in there still, so. Free of that tower. I think I'm good at Hearthstone. We Damn! Maybe Reno Shaman? Nope. Uh, Reno Shaman beats uh, Secret Mage with uh, Reno. Eater of Secrets does not solve the problems that that deck creates. What once was cloudy shall become clear. Player is the only valid secret tech and is not even the secret tech at Cycle for Hunter? Yeah, uh, Zephyrus is the best secret tech you could add to your deck. All right, let's try that again. Primordial Protector, if that is your real name. I'm just gonna, like, string this mage along a little bit first, I think. Because I'm having fun. I'm gonna let them keep having fun with me. That's a, that's a pretty good outcome. Problem with Secret Mage is the burn damage and draw that it consistently provides, yeah. Like in this game, for instance. I know the biggest problem is Flak Mage. 
certainly one of the biggest problems. I think it's like there's too many uh, potential culprits is unfortunately the problem. Yog. Pretty good. Oh, it wasn't even ice block. <laughs> I think I might need to keep the poison seeds in case of murlocs. If I'm going to. Without secret mage, APM would probably be top tier. Um. That's honestly not far from the truth, yeah. Like, a big part of what was holding APM Mage at back from being a top-tier deck was its horrendous, horrendous matchup into Secret Mage. And the fact that Secret Mage was so prevalent, like, made it um, so that, like, APM Mage needed, like, a 55% win rate against the entirety of the rest of the field, which is unreasonable and was never going to happen. And so, yeah, Secret Mage was an important part of keeping... Um, ABM Mage in check. Might hold my coins this game just because of the... It depends on the speed. But uh, this game is going out, which is not a fast speed, to clarify. It also keeps fun decks in check. I mean, every good deck does that, though. Without Seeker Mage, then, like, every other meta deck does the same. So how do you solve that problem? I should probably develop onto this board. It's not, like, I would like to get the Overgrowth down, but... There's the chance I get the uh, Vargoth into my Overgrowth, and I just um, want to develop so that I can take care of these totems. Lotheb indicates that it is kind of what we expected, where it's, you know, probably a, a Shutterwalk deck, but, like, not a whole lot going on for the opponent these games. Just gonna coin a survival next turn. I hate meta decks when I play casual and sore losers play top tier meta decks. Well, if they're playing meta decks and casual, how are they sore losers? Aren't they gonna be winning? Unfortunately, this gets obliterated by Devolve. So I sure do hope it's not Devolve. It's not a Devolve, at least. Now, do I go for lethal or do I go for fun? Like, I realize the clown wins me the game. But this is much more fun. Hey! I know that guy. Huh, <laughs> he's right here. I do need to save the... Well, I've got double Yogg that uh, can corrupt the second clown. Uh-oh. What's going on here? No, they can't have a Mutanus. Also, you shouldn't be running Mutanus in this deck, as we talked about on the podcast. Ah. Well, that solves one 10-10. Ten -ten. OK. 
Okay, this is actually... <laughs> like, I'm just going to get blown out by another... Um... I should probably trade off them to the brand, right? I have more than enough damage here. Like, I don't want weird things to happen. This is lethal. I want to... Um... I want to avoid getting completely obliterated by the... Um... Blur Gold combo. Worst case scenario, I just play the Yashira into, a, like, another layer of, uh, you, that, there's taunt minions. Yeah, lots of them. No! Oh, God, no. No! Oh, what a bummer. GG. Well. Uh, that's a yog. Need some more spells. This helps. Kind of want to draw it anyway. And then uh, let them extend a little bit further for the Seeds Plague. The real bad news after all this is... Um, Funny. We were just talking about that. Uh, anyway, the real bad news here is that um, like they haven't used the Flurgo combo yet, so that's still available to them. I'm just gonna kill the Zephyrus. That's the one I'm most concerned. Ooh, maybe I should have just poison seeds so they don't get dirty ratted again. So I have a Yog in hand. The real bad news is the Eater of Secrets, actually? Yeah, it's terrible news for the opponent. Range of Path Lethal? I can't I, I can't get lethal until I uh, play the Yogg, though. Come dance to my song. Uh, that probably gets a Toxfin, so that's... Nope. <laughs> I've also got this that I can just play and make a lot of stats. Also, maybe I should play for the win so that I can... Uh, Give away that free ban. Alright, Yogg it is. Alright, Yogg. Give me the rod! Unbelievable. Ooh. Okay. 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 I do not like that dirty rat. And I'm going to do the opponent a favor and make sure that they don't get stuck with a second copy of Eater of Secrets here. My Yogs have been incredible today. Is that a Mayor Noggenfogger? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh god, don't, don't target something. Okay, that's bad. I wanted that. Good, good. No! The penguin! Fine, sorry, Emma. Good call. Stop! Stop saying thank you, you idiot. My greetings. Opponent's not getting the hint. Um, I kind of need the, one of the ten drops to corrupt the clowns, so I'm just gonna save the yog. A natural mistake. Nice, easy, lethal.
Where's the sorry? I want to be Canadian! Will rise against you. Wait, that was actually the right one. Isn't sorry deleted? Yes, but you can still get it with a noggin fogger on the board. Wow, I'm timed out. Freeze the grumble? Ah. Nature well plays for no one but me. Armor! Armor! Lightly used armor! A natural. Come dance to my song. Wait, did. Oh, those are the minions that they bounced. Alright, well, we drew the clown. That means we can play the Yogg. <laughs> if the opponent isn't dead here. Oh! Get clocked. Okay. I don't want to press that yet because I might have a weapon attached since I can attack. <laughs> One minute, Yasera seems good. Okay, it looks like Flurry is the damage I'm able to deal. Good, good. Heal the, heal the mayor. I don't have any minions in my deck. Oh god. Wait, that means I just get to go face, right? Easy. Alright, not the best Yogg today, but still pretty decent. Never sorry. Uh, they have a Doppel in there. They also gave me a free 14-14. Okay. The Grumble is... Or Shudder is... Going to work here. They get another one as well. But, like, they're kind of fatiguing, aren't they? I don't know if they want the second one, do they? Okay. Oh! And it's just kind of unfortunate that they're able to decimate my secrets like this, right? So there's a dirty rat in there. I probably should play both of my minions. And, uh, sure hope this is enough. Oh, wait, no, at this point, they're guaranteed to have the floor gold combo. Oh, God! But I still had to play these, otherwise they just get dirty ratted, right? Maybe they don't realize that I have lethal showing here. Bzz. No, don't waste those. Yep. Job done. Unless they're just not running the floor combo, which would be a big surprise. Um, 
I think that they just like clear this board, right? And then also just like Zeph is going to continue offering them things so that I never get to attack again. Raffle, what time is it? Uh, it depends on where you live. I would check your nearest clock. Yeah, at least we've got board space for the uh, dream portals now. What are they doing? What's going on here? Oh, they're trying to make hand space maybe? I guess they didn't have the Flurgle. Huh. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Fizzle Jizzix, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Keys404, Korbach, Nogglesher, NotoriousHS, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Fanfix.